Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to take a first look at all of the new characters. This might be a bit of an easy stage for Yelena. Seems like her damage is quite high. Yeah, this is this is way too easy for her. But yeah, I want to take all the characters into different content. Uh, there's, you know, a few new characters based on the fact that they have uniforms and not have uniforms. So you'll be able to see what they look like without and with uniforms. Obviously, she's clapping this stage, but we're just going to try to get an example and get an idea of how these characters play. Lots of guard break, lots of damage from Yelena. We'll take her to some world boss as well for a little bit more difficult content. Um, so we've got to check Yelena twice or take a first look at Yelena, both as a hero. Okay, we don't need the same floor again here. Um, and then, okay, let's try Iron. This, no, he's not, a, he's not Iron. Red Guardian. He's not a hero uh, without his uniform. So let's refresh for a stage that he actually does work on. Okay, that works just fine. So we will take Red Guardian in now. All villain allies get 35% HP. So it's interesting, his leadership doesn't actually get worse. It just applies to different characters. So without his... I mean, he's got a better leadership than the, than the traditional... Um, let's see his awakening skill. He's got a better leadership than the traditional 30%. Okay, that seemed okay. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of hits on that awakening skill. It's a bit of a weird awakening skill, to be honest. His third skill has the immunity... He seems to hit pretty hard. Again, it's only a stage 30, but these characters are not super well built, but he just kind of mows through. He seems to have pretty high damage and lots of hits on his skills. Pretty high AoE as well for a combat character, like pretty large AoE on those skills. That was way too easy, but uh, yeah, most of Marvel Future Fight as a game is way too easy. Just to recap here, these characters are, again, they're not super well built. Um, you're going to see... That well, we don't want to we don't want to show them with the team up, but yeah, we don't have any Uru, we don't have an ISO eight set, and we don't have an Obelisk. So that's sort of your comparison. They are level seventy, but yeah, they don't have anything, and because they don't have a uniform on, they're naked. Uh, and then look at the stats here; they're you know, set thirteen percent undercapped on cooldown, uh, seven percent undercapped on ignore defense. I'm not trying to do like a full in depth analysis of these characters with full maxed out builds, because you know what. If um, if Marvel Future Fight, if the if the Net Marble devs are gonna make this uh, the APK a uh, an advertising platform for them, then there's no point in, in the Star Agents putting in work to um, you know build up these characters to the max because it's not necessarily gonna be an accurate representation of what they're gonna do in the live server anyways. So I'll just you know play with these characters as they are and then see um, you know just how they feel to play and how they look and how their skills sort of function if there's any sort of spots that we can pick out where they might excel or do worse or do better so let's go back and try red guardian again this time uh, what kind of team ups does he have you guys like the team ups behind enemy lines red warriors leader's heart these are some cute ones uh war torn pasts family reunion oh nice it's from the movie family reunion okay i like that so we'll give him a little bit more uh we'll give him a little bit of damage with valkyrie and then we will give him a little bit more HP. So he's going to have 65% increased HP. I'm not going to bring along strikers. Again, we're just trying to test out these characters. You have a first look. I haven't actually played with these characters. So this is the first time for me as well. Um, I wasn't terribly impressed with Red Guardian's Awakening skill. But as, as all Awakening skills, you do want to cast them at the beginning if you have them ready because of the buffs. But yeah, that damage and those the number of hits there was just not that impressive. Okay, he loses the iframe there. Alright, he's got three seconds left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not a big fan of intermittent iframes, but he seems like he can he seems like he can face tank. I think if you get down. Uh, the right uh, rotation. He loses the iframe here after the slam. Okay, he doesn't get it back. Yeah, they have iframes at the beginning, but then the iframe doesn't last. Oh, he's got a bit of an iframe with a turn on two. That's kind of nice. Because you can sort of reposition yourself. You can kind of bounce around from left to right between them. Yeah, not not a lot of hits on that awakening skill. But yeah, it seems like 
you will be able to get a very um, smooth rotation with Red Guardian by just um, sort of getting comfortable and kind of memorizing his rotation and seeing uh, how to use the skills in different order. Like, look at that. You bounce over to the left. Then with the fourth skill, you, you know, you're over here. And then you're going to bounce over to the other side. Oh, I'm over here now. I'm over here. Okay. Damage doesn't seem very impressive, but again, they don't have builds, so... Not trying to give a full analysis of their damage, just seeing how they play. He seems pretty good. He seems like a, you know, maybe a little bit less offensive Captain America, but he's got a lot more... He's got a lot of iframes for a combat character, like iframe here, iframe here, long iframe here, and then no iframe on... Oh, he's got an iframe at the end of one, but then he's got the immunity and the iframe on three. All right, let's take Yelena for a spin here against Proxima. We've got a little bit of a different leadership, so we are giving her the extra 30% uh, all attack, or 35% all attack from um, Victorious. Okay, she's got an iframe on four. Oh, she got she got a guard guard break, or a guard hit on, uh, on three. But I think you definitely need to use five and then cancel that into one and then go into two. Not a lot of protection. Unlike Red Guardian, she doesn't seem to have a lot of protection. She's got a nice iframe, and she's got this long immunity skill, which is like five seconds or uh, six seconds. So that is nice. But uh, one and two leave you completely open. Ah, I see the targeting on five is no good. Yeah. Okay. You, oh, you don't want to face tank like that. Yeah, the targeting on five. If the if the enemy moves, which is why you're gonna need something like mind control, or you're gonna try to you're gonna want to try to box them into a corner. Um, because if they move outside of that zone, it's, she could have good damage. It seems like she could have good damage, but uh, it's just a little bit sketchy with that five skill, not uh, having, not tracking. Sort of like uh, Nick Fury's fifth skill, right? Or f fourth skill, I should say. Ouch. Yeah, she seems to have quite a bit less uh, in the way of protective. Uh, skills with just that five skill just five and four really being her only protection the guard hit is obviously not doing much for her and then yeah see okay i think yelena is going to be quite a bit harder to play without her uniform gosh wow, she died this is a much higher stage this is stage 40 for reference but now let's go equip their uniforms and see that was not that impressive for yelena okay so we got the snow suit on let's see what yelena can do now same second skill same fourth skill Okay, right. The fifth skill is different. She has that little uh, snippet at the beginning. Oh, right. She's got the invisibility. Yeah, because her fourth... Because her second skill... It seems like she does way more damage. Because her third skill doesn't have any damage, um, it seems very bad for world boss. Now, it's, it's hilarious to go invisible and just and hit the boss and they can't see you or do anything. So, like, 5-4-3 is pretty funny, but it seems like she might be a really good Shadowland character because... I mean, not not Shadowland, sorry. PvP. Um, because of that um, invisibility. Now, you got to be careful to... to, to you, you have to get the rotation pretty tight because otherwise you do get hit. But the damage on 5 seems a lot better. Oh, I just died. Wow. The, the damage seems a lot better, and then the invisibility... It doesn't seem very useful for PvE content because there's no damage on that third skill. But it does seem a lot more useful for PvP content. So it'll be interesting to see how Yelena does. Now let's go back to Red Guardian. We will compare him with and without his uniform on stage 15 of Thanos. And then also do a comparison of him on that same stage of Proxima. Maybe 40 is just a little bit too high for characters without, you know, obelisks, ISO-8 sets, or Uru. But um, maybe Red Guardian is just a lot tankier than Yelena. That's also a possibility. So let's see with the uh, uniform what this awakening skill looks like. Does it have more hits? It's kind of hard to tell. So he's got the accumulation here. So the, I think the accumulation is going to ramp up his damage quite a bit. Maybe I didn't, uh, you know, give that accumulation enough credit. That uh, he's got that accumulation on three. I don't know if it's going to be as good as Magneto's accumulation. We'll have to wait and see. But maybe just canceling into five. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's a 10 second accumulation though. It's a long time. Now he does have really long animations. And unlike Magneto, you can't really cancel out of most of his animations. So that might make him a little bit worse. Oh, the accumulation seems really nice with the uh, the sixth skill. 
But that is something to take note of, is that characters who have accumulation, um, if you can cancel their skills, obviously the accumulation becomes a lot better. Um, but if you can't cancel their skills, then obviously the accumulation is worse in a way because you can't stack as much damage. Uh, well, it depends on the type of accumulation. The, he has accumulation on damage dealt, so you want to be canceling as much as possible, um, and you want to be getting as much damage as possible. Well, not canceling as much as possible, unless that leads to more damage, of course. But, um, yeah, he does seem to be... He seems to play almost identically, so that's nice. And he seems to be just a higher DPS version as bef than before, compared to his non-uniform Red Guardian look. Um, so just just same tankiness, more DPS with this uniform. So that is nice. Let's see how he does in comparison to Yelena. Again, both naked builds, uh, but it seems like Red Guardian is the better character. Um, more useful leadership, I would say, and uh, probably easier to play with with five to seven seconds of immunity uh, accumulation. He's got an awakening skill, so there's more of a future for the character, so to speak in terms of building him up and, and seeing him uh, perform well in content. And it's just kind of nice to get a different version of Captain America, who kind of seems like Captain America and kind of plays like Captain America, but at the same time doesn't play like Captain America, if you know what I mean. Um, and maybe you can see just from the gameplay that I'm showing you that he, he kind of feels like Captain America, but different. Same, same, but different. And of course, unlike Captain America, he's got an awakening skill, not a uh, tier three skill. These iframes are nice. He sort of keeps him in the battle the whole time. Keeps him face tanking. Yeah, you can see, unlike Yelena. Wow, okay. Yeah, see? Okay, so maybe the, the free character here is outshining. What's new? What's new in Marvel Future Fight? The free character outshines the paywall. What's new? We're going to find some niche value for the paywall character, of course. But otherwise, uh, the free character seems to be the way to go. Dang. Red Guardian, huh? Now, of course, part of his value rests on awakening him. So keep in mind that he's not necessarily going to be this good without the awakening. Uh, and of course, the awakening is extremely expensive because of the scarcity of Mandalay fragments. But I think a lot of people are going to want to awaken Red Guardian to see Elena and Black Widow, you know, uh, rope in. It's really cool how they sort of jump into the action. He, he kind of reminds me of Juggernaut a little bit without the healing. That's the one thing that these characters are missing is the healing. So it, it makes their sustainability a little bit worse. It makes Anti-Venom a little bit more necessary as a uh, striker, but his damage is good enough. Wow. So he can do basically stage 40 naked with just a leadership and a support, a 35% attack leadership and a support. Wow. Red Guardian is actually impressing me quite a bit. Nice. I'm really happy with that. Now, just for comparison's sake, just for fun and for comparison's sake, let's go take Black Widow Tier 3, who's got... I think she's got a, a pretty full build. Uh, let's see here. She's going to be over here. She's got Uru. Yep. She's got... No, she, no ISO-8 set, but she does have an obelisk, a lightning damage 180 proc obelisk. So she's not quite maxed out, but she's very, very close, uh, minus the ISO-8 set. We're going to give her the same uh, team up here. Just for comparison's sake, I want to see how much damage she does so that you can see he was getting down to seven bars with about three minutes left. So let's see what Black Widow does. Uh, you know, I'm kind of interested here. I haven't played with her yet. Okay, let's see what the five looks like. Okay, no proc, by the way. Cool. What does the four look like? So the four has that sniper thing, right? Oh, she's got the paralysis now. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Long, long cooldown on five, though. Not very good. Let's try to pop this. Okay. Double helicopter. <laughs> helicopter on helicopter. Oh, so it's the fifth skill that has that sniper thing, not the third skill. Uh... Wow, the immunity does make her a lot tankier. Do the missiles actually target? She might be better for PvP. I don't know. This seems good, but something something about the way she plays makes me seem like she might be better for PvP. She's pretty fast, though. Like, she's got fast skills. Fast animations. That kind of stuff is important for PvP. 
just got the silence there. But it seems like it's not applying to the boss. The damage is not blowing me out of the water. I don't think she has all defense down, though. So I think that is one thing that people are going to notice. So unlike Winter Soldier, she might be like Winter Soldier, except you can... Um, you can't rely on all defense down. So that might make her even better with all defense down. That's not bad. Yeah, there seems to be quite a big gap, though. Wow, her damage is actually not that much better than Red Guardians. But he this, that's the thing. He has all defense down, right? But yeah, she's she's pretty much there. But she can, she can basically face tank now. This is a pretty substantial upgrade for Black Widow, I have to say. Six seconds of immunity. Really, really cool animations lots of helicopters the the marvel future fight dev team are obsessed with helicopters rhino deadpool winter soldier black widow interesting i think someone mentioned that she lost the lightning damage on her skills though i'm now wondering why the devs equipped a lightning damage obelisk if that's true i haven't actually taken a look at the skills they did what so the devs whoever was whoever was playing this account before me equipped or maybe maybe this is just what she had before i don't okay okay so the it seems like the lightning damage is pretty useless for her i don't have a ctp of energy to give her but that is what i would give her it also means that judgment is probably not useful for her at all i actually kind of like the fact that they removed lightning damage from black widow um, I think that it makes a little bit more sense. She wasn't really doing lightning damage. She's not really an elemental damage dealing character. If you think about it, it's just the widow's bite sort of paralysis effect. And they gave her the paralysis effect and it ignores immunity. So they reflected that and she has the lightning and she has paralysis here as well. And she has the lightning look of the skills, but she shouldn't necessarily be dealing lightning damage. Lightning damage is for characters like crystal and inferno who are actually harnessing the elements themselves or storm right so it, it was kind of weird like black widow and storm both dealing lightning damage when one of them is literally a weather goddess and the other one is a spy so i personally like that it seems more in tune with the comics and it seems more realistic but uh, let me know what you guys think we are missing taskmaster so i think i'm gonna have to do a dedicated video for him but i don't want this to run too long so hit me up what do you guys think is yelena too weak what's new in the in the world of Give us money for a paywall character that isn't that strong. Uh, and then the good thing is for the free-to-play boys and girls and others, uh, we've got Red Guardian, who does seem to be quite sick. Very, very strong character. And then uh, Black Widow. Hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.